Disclaimer, no animals are harmed in the making of this fragrance. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. Today I'm reviewing Beaver by the wonderful House of Zoologist. This is the second to last one of theirs that I'm going to review because I've reviewed them all. I have Civet, which is the latest one. Um, thank you, Victor. Personally, I'd like to say that for sending me them. I really appreciate it. I'm really pleased to get to try your wonderful line. So, um, yeah, first thing I'll say is I've reviewed all of the others minus Civet. So if you want to go and check them out, go check them out. So, Beaver, yeah, this one came out in 2014, originally it was one of the first three they released in one go, the other two were Rhinoceros and Panda, uh, and then in 2016 this got a complete facelift, they completely changed the fragrance in my opinion, I loved both of them, both versions are my favourite out of the entire line, where Hummingbird and Rhino seem to be the kind of fan favourites, I'm going against the grain because Beaver's my favourite. It is great. I, I always have to read you the descriptions and the notes because they're always wonderful and really paint a picture. So here we go. Look, oh, it says new formula on the thing. Look how much is left. I was going to review this for you guys in India, but I actually didn't get around to doing it. Anyway, it says Beaver Eau de Parfum invites you to slip away to a cosy family lodge. A tranquil river encloses the den in its rippling embrace as it glides beneath the blossoms and lush linden trees lining the banks. Ah, ah. The breezy aroma of the green floral grove washes over you just before you duck inside to be welcomed by leathery hints of musky castorium. I'll talk about castorium in a minute. Um, as it mingles with the moist woody note of freshly hewn hone, hone, timber, it strikes you just how sexy and dapper this perfume is. And it, as you sink into it, uh, no, and you sink into it, letting yourself be enfolded in its surprising elegance. Yeah. So quickly a thing about castorium, the reason this is called beaver is because it has a note of castorium in it. It's one of only four notes in the world that come from animals, well, that are an animalic in nature. I'm not talking about honey and things like that. The others being musk, um, ambergris and training, Tom, training. Think back to your training, I should know this by now. Civet, of course. <laughs> <sighs> So, um, yeah, Castorium. Very, very scary note if you smell it on its own. It comes from beavers. No more. They don't do it anymore because it's cruelty to animals, but now there are other alternatives that smell the same but don't harm the little fairy babies that we love. So, Castorium. For want of a better word, when you smell it on its own, it smells pissy. I'm sorry to say that, but it does. It's very scary, very animalic, but in this, masterfully blended. Very, very good. Let's go through the notes because the notes are always really interesting. So, the top notes are fresh outdoor air, linden blossom, which is also known as lime blossom, um, wood shavings, and wild vegetation. You can already tell, these fragrances are very naturalistic. The heart notes are damp air, dry wood, light musk, and water. And then the base notes are heavy musk, dark woods, vanilla, amber, castorium, and leather. So, they used to scrape castorium off of the backs of beaver, off of, be off of beaver off of the beaver into their pots. That's how they used to get it. I don't know, it, it doesn't sound very nice. But anyway, it's a horrible note, but when done correctly by a master perfumer, it's great. So let's spray this on my hand. I've been wearing it today anyway, but just for review purposes. The first thing I want to say about this one is, this is undoubtedly this new version. I'm not going to talk about the old one too much because it seems redundant, even though I really loved it. This is decidedly, or absolutely the most ethereal and light fragrance in the line. This one feels, like the others do, very naturalistic again. It opens up fresh. It opens up like you're outside in spring. Note, there are no fruits in this, which is lovely. It's got a very light floral tone. And what I would say is, if I hadn't read the notes, I would be fooled into thinking that I'm smelling violets. It feels like violets to me even though it's not in here at all, but it must be a combination of a few things that are just giving it a very fresh, ethereal, violety feel. And I love it. It's so, so beautiful. It's really good. So the Castorium, let's talk about that. 
there is an animalic vibe in here. It's got two kinds of masks. It's got castorium. It's got leather, which can sometimes be animalic. But you can feel it in there. Um, but it's way toned down. It's so perfectly blended. It's exquisitely blended, this fragrance, where everything feels perfect. It's just got enough of an edge of animalic without it taking over. This is how you subdue and you beat animalic scary notes into submission by being a perfumer. It's very breezy, this one. It's kind of watery petals. Um, very different from all of the others. The only one that I would say is kind of close to this in feeling might be macaque, but while that's very green, this is very lilac-y, light purple in feeling and smell to me. It's so, so beautiful. It really is. I'm so impressed. I think it's probably my favourite one. So like I was saying, sorry, I always digress. The castorium is there, but it never overtakes. The animalic is there, but it never ruins it. Because animalic notes, you know, you have to kind of go full throttle with animalic notes to make it an animalic fragrance. This is the princess of beautiful, light, airy, animalic fragrances. It's so refined, it's so pretty, it's quite feminine, I would say. A lot of theirs can be either way, but this one, it does feel feminine to me, but I reckon that this in spring would be amazing. I don't like to put, you know, rules on things, but it just feels spring-like to me. I love it. The word blossom is what comes to mind because you have florals and then you have blossoms. Blossoms are, you know, always just altogether lighter, altogether more ethereal, I'll say that word again, and that is the overall feel of this, light and ethereal. It's kind of fairy-like, or kind of forest nymph kind of smell. <laughs> Another noticeable thing about this one is, this is the most linear of all of their fragrances on my skin, while lots of the others really do take you on a journey and they do have very distinct stages from wet to dry. This one doesn't change too much on me. And that's not a detriment to the fragrance at all. I don't think that's a bad thing because you don't always want things to develop. Some things smell good as they are. And I'd like to make a point of, while there's all of these notes listed, this doesn't smell like that many. And again, it's a positive. I've said in another review that when you get a fragrance that smells like one thing, or that doesn't smell like half the notes that are in there, it's one of two things happening. It's either characterless or it's master blending. And in this case, it's master blending. It just fits perfectly. Everything fits like a jigsaw puzzle all together in the right way. Everything hits you at the right time. Just gorgeous. That's pretty much all I can say because it doesn't develop too much on me. It stays like this. It stays airy, petally blossom, kind of slightly animalic, watery in a forest kind of thing. Um, it makes me think of like a witch's cottage in a fairy tale. I don't know, I'm just going with it here. I'm just going with it. Go with me, okay? Yeah, it just, it stays like that. It doesn't, this one isn't a jump off of your skin one either. This is a more subtle, but still very, very beautiful fragrance that um, just kind of, you get what you get. And if you're gonna, if you like it when it's wet, you're gonna like it when it's dry. It only just kind of melds in a bit more when it's dry. And um, that is my review of Beaver. I'm gonna actually wear the rest of it today. Now, now that I've done my review, I can gladly spray the rest on. Smell like goodness today. Oh. So good. So, so good. Anyway, I'm much more like it. I'm like it down there to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon for another review. Goodbye.